Hello bookish friends, welcome to another uh, tag video. I will do the uh, Cartonbury uh, Tales book tag, which was created by AJ Dan uh, Reads and Writes. Uh, I was uh, also tagged by uh, AJ in, in, in the original uh, video, but of course in Bernard's style. Uh, I realized it a bit late, uh, but uh, I, I, I really liked uh, this tag uh, because it had some timely questions. I wanted to do it uh, as soon as I can. Mm, I will link AJ's video uh, down below. Uh, thank you, AJ, <laughs> for tagging me. We have 25 uh, questions, uh, 26 if we include uh, who do we want to tag. The first question is the host. Uh, the host is the character who relates the tales to the reader. He is large, loud and merry. Recommend a mammoth book over 800 pages uh, for March of the Mammoths. Uh, I will recommend uh, 11 uh, 22, 63 by Stephen King. Uh, I really do like uh, this uh, science fiction novel. It has a very interesting plot uh, in which uh, a man uh, tries to uh, prevent uh, the assassination of uh, jo John F. Kennedy. Uh, and this is the best book that I have read uh, from Stephen King uh, so far. Prompt 2. Uh, the Night uh, stands for Fighting, War and Bravery. Recommend a book with courageous main character, uh, Vasya uh, from the uh, Winter Night trilogy, but I especially liked uh, the character development of Vasya uh, in the second book, The Girl in the Tower. I I'm not really a fan of uh, young adult fiction, uh, but uh, I really enjoyed uh, this series and especially the character of Vasya. From 3. The Wife of Bat stands for marriage, sex and arguing. Tell us about a book with a strong female character. Uh, I will recommend one of my favorite books, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I think uh, Jane's uh, character development in this book is amazing. In the beginning of the book, she's a helpless orphan uh, girl, uh, but by the end, uh, she becomes a very strong and uh, determined uh, woman who knows what she wants in life. Uh, question 4. The Pardoner is all about ambiguity. Tell us about your favorite uh, queer characters. I really did like uh, the tutelar character in My Brother's Husband by uh, Gengaro Tageme. In this manga, the husband of our main uh, character's uh, brother uh, comes uh, to Japan uh, from Canada and he faces his uh, own very hidden uh, prejudices uh, towards uh, queer people. But the highlight of the story was the sweet relationship between uh, the uncle uh, and, the, and the little girl uh, in the story. Uh, and the husband was uh, just such a lovable uh, big man. Uh, prompt 5. The miller is bold, blasphemous and overturns uh, conversations. Who is your favorite naughty character? I think uh, Hercule Poirot by Agatha Christie is a very naughty character. Although uh, he is uh, clever than almost all of the people in the room. He really likes to play games uh, with people uh, and uh, he uh, constantly teases his best friend, uh, Captain Hastings, about his intellect. also likes to play tricks on uh, criminals, uh, so he's on the naughty list for sure. Prompt 6. The pro progress, I don't know how to pronounce that word, is modest, quiet, and compassionate. Recommend a book you don't hear much about on Booktube. I will recommend a book uh, from a very famous author in Booktube, uh, but uh, that book is not uh, talked very often, which is uh, Night Road uh, by Kristin Henna. I really uh, did like uh, The Nightingale as well, but The Night Road also touched me very, very much, and the themes that this book explores was really emotional uh, to read about. Uh, so I really wanted to bring this uh, book up again uh, for all Kristen Hanna fans. Question 7. The monk cares little for the rule of work and prayer. Tell us about an unconventional character. Uh, I will say Eileen by Ayşe Kulin. Uh, Eileen uh, was a, a woman who was born in the first years of uh, the new Turkish Republic and she was very different uh, from uh, a traditional uh, Turkish woman, much more courageous. Uh, too independent uh, for my taste actually, but very adventurous. It was a delight to read about uh, the biographical uh, novel of uh, this uh, real life character uh, who was actually related uh, to the author. Uh, question 8. The prior is all about confession. Confess to us. Have you read the Bible, Torah, Quran, 
or other religious texts all the way through. Uh, no, I have not read it and to be honest, <laughs> uh, I'm not really interested in religious texts. <laughs> Question 9. The summoner is lecherous and a drunk who tries to sound more educated than he is. Tell us about a book that sounded better than it was. I thought that I would like The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren uh, much more than I uh, eventually did. Uh, it has all of the uh, tropes that I loved uh, in romantic uh, books. Uh, first of all, this is a romantic comedy, uh, my favorite subgenre. Trope of uh, fake marriage uh, and uh, some somewhat uh, dislike to love. I should have loved uh, this book, but I found it uh, just fine. <laughs> I'm thinking uh, it's the writing style that I could not get along with, but I will give uh, this author duo another chance. Question 10. The person is poor, but rich in thought and ideas. Tell us about a book that gave you more than you expected. Uh, Persepolis by Marjana Satrapi. It was the first graphic novel that I read uh, for my uh, 2020 uh, yearly goal which was uh, to read uh, at least uh, five graphic novels, but in the end, I think I read about uh, 25. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but this first one really uh, shocked me. I was very, very uh, invested in the story. Uh, I never thought that I would be invested in a, uh, in a story told in uh, so few words. So definitely, it was one of my uh, most uh, pleasantly surprising books of uh, that year. 11. Uh, the Squire stands for Youth, Beauty and Courting. What book did you fall in love when you were a youth? It's certainly Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter. And as well as uh, falling in love uh, with the series and reading the series uh, so many, so many times, uh, I think uh, I had my first uh, bookish love with that book series as well. Question 12. The clerk says little, but his words are wise and morally virtuous. Tell us about a short book uh, that made you a better person. I will talk about an essay collection that I read in Turkish, but it was originally written in English. Uh, why you should read uh, children's books, even though you are so old and wise by Catherine Drundell. After I read uh, this short uh, book, uh, I identified uh, the kind of re middle grade reader that I was. Uh, I'm not I'm not a big fan of uh, books uh, with with childish humor, but I really do like uh, middle grade books with uh, subtle wit and with more serious uh, subject matters. I was very glad uh, to make sense of uh, why I really do despise uh, some middle grade, uh, whereas uh, I love uh, some of them even uh, much more than adult books. 13. The Man of Law upholds justice and knows the laws by heart. What is the book you could not imagine rereading? I don't think I want to relive the experience of uh, reading uh, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy again. Uh, first of all, I read this book uh, when I was not DNFing uh, books very, very often. The fact that the sections taking place in peace were interesting, but uh, the sections, and especially the theoretical uh, sections about uh, the war, uh, was uh, unbearable uh, to read for me. For the first time ever, I skipped a whole chapter in that book. Uh, so the experience was just like a roller coaster, which can be exciting for some of some readers, but it was definitely not for me. Proud 14. The Manciple provides the food. Recommend the series you think is good from the first book to the last. Uh, I think uh, the Miss Bond trilogy, the original uh, trilogy by Brandon Sanderson, was a series uh, with very good books. Uh, and my favorite book was the final book. Uh, and uh, I gave uh, the first book 10 out of 10, the second book 9 out of 10, and the, and the third book 10 out of 10. Uh, I think uh, this series has my uh, highest average rating of all of the series that I've read. Round 50. The merchant deals in furs and cloth and is powerful and wealthy. Uh, recommend a book with a powerful message or theme. Uh, I will uh, recommend uh, a book that affected me a lot, uh, both uh, by its powerful theme and uh, also by the wonderful writing style. Uh, Still Alice by Lisa Genova. Uh, this book has a very hard uh, subject matter to read about. I actually could read the book uh, by reading uh, just uh, one or uh, two chapters each day. Uh, that was my limit for reading this book. 
the book uh, touches on the uh, subject of early Alzheimer's through the uh, patient's eyes and because of the wonderful writing style uh, we can uh, empathize with uh, the patient uh, as well as the uh, people who take care of the patient which was an incredibly powerful team to read about. Uh, prompt 16. The shipman is a wine-stealing rascal. Tell us about a side character who steals the spotlight. Uh, Lady Danbury <laughs> in Bridgerton series, uh, but especially uh, it's in his Kiss by Julia Queen uh, because uh, the hero in this book is Lady Danbury's uh, grandson. We, we get to see the more of uh, her awesome personality. Uh, I distinctly remember uh, talking about this book in my wrap up, uh, saying uh, I gave uh, the main couple a 7 out of 10, but because of Lady Danbury scenes, uh, I rate this book an 8 out of 10. She is an absolute delight to read about. I wish there had been a, a spin off series uh, starring Lady Danbury. Maybe I should uh, contact uh, Julia Quinn with this message. Prompt 17. The physician knows uh, what ails you and you can cure it. Tell us about a book you consider a comfort read. Um, I'm going to talk about actually a book that I read very recently. Uh, a Bear Called Paddington by Michael Bond. Uh, but uh, as I was listening to the book, I, I thought uh, I really want to listen to all of the uh, books in this series because I felt uh, so much warmth when I was listening to the series. It certainly brought me comfort. I actually plan to uh, listen to a book uh, in the series once a month or once in two months, uh, considering the comfort that the first book gave me. Prompt 18. The Franklin is not a vessel or a noble, but a free man. Recommend a book about freedom in any form. I chose The Illumination of Ursula Flight by Anne-Marie Crowhurst. Uh, in this book, uh, Ursula Flight uh, is a very lovable character. Uh, she was one of my favorite characters uh, of 2020, actually. Uh, and uh, in this book, uh, Ursula uh, finds her freedom after she becomes uh, a widow uh, and uh, decides to live by her own rules. Uh, not by uh, rules uh, dictated by some man. Uh, prompt 19. The Reeve is believable on the outside, but lies on the inside. What book was different than what you blurb lady to believe? I have a very significant answer for this question. Uh, and the Mountains Echoed by Khaled Husseini. First of all, uh, beware that uh, this book is not a novel. Uh, it's a, a collection of uh, interconnected uh, short stories. And... Uh, if I had known uh, that uh, before reading the story, I, maybe I would have enjoyed it much more because uh, the writing style was very emotional, uh, like uh, like the novels that Hosseini wrote pr previously. But because I could not grasp the very loose connections, uh, I was uh, at lost while reading the book. Prompt 20. The plowman is good-hearted and faithful. What book do you read over and over again? It's, of course, Persuasion by Jane Austen. Uh, I especially like to read uh, the letter over and over again. And uh, that's what I will probably do until uh, I am able to read. Prompt 21. The Gould's men are five men who act as a unit and stand for brotherhood or sisterhood. Recommend a book with strong ensemble cast of characters. I think uh, I will uh, talk about Not a Penny More, Not a Penny Less by Jeffrey Archer. In this book, uh, there is a man uh, who who conned his way and tricked uh, four characters. And uh, these four characters uh, do come uh, to uh, to take their money and uh, to revenge uh, that uh, con artist. The main uh, four characters were uh, so much different uh, from each other, but they complemented each other uh, with their strengths in this very clever plan. Most interesting thing in this book uh, was uh, that uh, I cared a bit about the con man as well because uh, he was such a complex character. Uh, that's why I think it has a strong ensemble of characters. From 22, the cook makes the food that feeds you. Tell us about the book that feeds your soul. Uh, Ince Mehmet, Mehmet My Hope by Reşar Kemal, fed my soul uh, when I read the book. 
because of the incredibly wonderful writing style there are so many so many good things that i can say about uh, this book uh, but uh, i think uh, i will link my uh, video down below so that you can see com more comprehensive thoughts about uh, this wonderful turkish modern classic prompt 22 the yo man serves you tell us about a book that served its purpose that did what you wanted it to do it wasn't great but wasn't bad uh, one calls the heart by janet oak uh, was the book uh, that i read after uh, the big earthquake that happened in 2020 we had planned this body read of uh, this historical romance book with uh, rainy at rainy day reads and uh, she said uh, we can uh, postpone it if i want to because after the earthquake uh, since i work in the disaster management i was working in so many hours uh, i was mostly uh, sleeping when i wasn't working but i still could read uh, this uh, book and the uh, hopeful message in this book uh, helped me a lot as well as of course uh, the wonderful body reading experience with Rainy. Uh, although this book is not perfect, it will always have a very special place in my heart. Prompt 24. The second nun talks about a saint's life in her tale. What book do you praise often? Uh, I praised and then there were none by Agatha Christie very often and I think uh, it deserves all the praises in the world. And the last prompt is uh, the nun's uh, priest is witty and doesn't take himself too seriously. Recommend a book that has a funny or mythy main character. Uh, Bridget Jones's Diary by Helen Fielding. Uh, in this book, Bridget Jones uh, is a very witty character. Uh, it has uh, the famous British humor. And I really did like uh, the uh, first sections of the diary entries uh, in this book. I like the uh, movie adaptation as well, but uh, the book is, I think, much more funnier uh, than the adaptation. Uh, and the sixth prompt is to tag some booktube pilgrims. This tag is actually very popular, so I cannot be sure uh, who did the tag yet. So I will take the easy way and uh, tag anybody who wants to do the tag. AJ uh, in their video uh, said that uh, you can uh, do all the prompts or choose the prompts uh, that you want to do so you do not have to answer all of the 25 uh, prompts like I did but I really enjoyed uh, the uh, diversity of the prompts uh, which I think uh, reflected my uh, very diverse <laughs> reading taste uh, so thank you AJ uh, for tagging me. Uh, I also really would like to know the your answer uh, for uh, the prompt of a book that you cannot imagine rereading. Uh, and if you're a new viewer, first of all, welcome. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye. For Turkish word of the day, I'm going to choose tale. Tale means hikaye in Turkish and hikaye is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day.